Hey guys, Mohan Pober here, and today I'm going to talk about how to overcome the shiny object syndrome. Let's get to it. So, hey guys, my name is Mohan Pober, and today I'm going to share with you why literally going through the shiny object syndrome is probably the worst thing you can do in business or probably in life in general. There's so many opportunities out there, either it's business or health or wealth or whatever you try to, to grow and become in, in, in this world right now. Everyone got different opinions, different courses, different books, different ways of doing things. Um, if we're talking about business, it's always the next business opportunity, the next, if it's Bitcoin, if it's real estate, if it's business, if it's startups, if it's a software company, consulting company, e-commerce, Amazon, all those different opportunities and get rich options. And, and what do you do? How do you, how do you actually make shit happen and become successful. It's something I really want to explore that and, and show you my perspective as someone who was involved in many businesses in the last few years and kind of like learned some lessons, had a lot of mistakes, made some money, lost some money and just I, I'm here eventually in the end of the day to document my journey and hopefully um, hope it will help you guys. So what it comes down to in the end of the day, I think the problem with um, People out there will always have this shiny object syndrome is that they think the grass is always greener on the other side. Um, I'm here to tell you that the grass is greener where you water it. Now it's so easy to get distracted because nowadays you're all, I think, I don't remember the exact number, but you're watching ads all day, different companies, different promotion, different, this webinar, that webinar, that course, that ebook, that that event or seminar or web or whatever, so many options and you, you can literally get so overwhelmed, but eventually, Becoming successful is about focus. Unless you're focused, you can be successful. I know millionaires in literally any industry you can think of. I'm talking about, I'm talking to businesses. Literally, we had a call with a cemetery business and they're making millions of dollars. You can make money from dead people, literally from everything you can think of, you can make money. But it's so hard to be, it's so easy to be distracted because of so all those all those opportunities. I mean, Everyone makes you feel like whatever they're doing is the best and whatever they're doing is the easiest and whatever they're doing You're going to be rich in 30 days and it's so easy to get into that and, and, and Just literally you can you can lose your life. You can lose years of your life Trying to follow different strategies every day So I guess now we understand that picking something and just deciding on something is the way to go and the way to do it But how do you do that? How it's so hard, right? You have all those opportunities the way to do it is to eliminate everything else. That's what I'm here to tell you. Pick one thing. If it's starting the business from scratch, go and do that and eliminate everything else. So unsubscribe from my channel if it's something you want. If you want to start a business from scratch, unsubscribe from my channel, literally. If you want to grow by acquisitions and buy businesses, stick to this one thing and just follow me or follow someone else who give you everything, the system, the accountability, the support, and just do whatever you can to just work with that person. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to be successful, guys. I'm telling you, like, you got to delete apps from your phone. You got to unsubscribe from email lists. You got to do everything to eliminate any distraction that you have. Because the difference between being successful or not comes down to how much you're producing. It's about being a consumer versus being a producer. The more you consume things from other people, the less you'll be able to produce because you just don't have time. And the less you produce, the less successful you are, period. And literally ask yourself, if you're not as successful as you think, think with yourself. During the day, I have 24 hours a day, how much of the day am I producing things or taking initiative, initiative on things? versus how much I'm consuming and learning and all that stuff. And unless most of your day is about producing, it's going to be really, really hard to be successful at something. And like I said, grow your grass. you got to focus on one thing. And again, remember, there's two ways to grow in business. One of them is to start a thing from scratch. That's one way to go. In my opinion, it's the slow way to go. And most of the chances, unfortunately, are against you. The other way to do it is to go and buy existing assets, existing businesses, or if you have an existing business, your best way to grow isn't by going out there and start a completely separate business. I saw people had like literally two or three million business, like, like business that are doing two or three million in sales, and then they, they, they leave it alone and go and start an Amazon business. That's the worst thing you can do. The best thing you can do is take the sector that you already know everything about. You know, you have the context, the, the network, the experience, the passion many times, or even it's not about the passion because you will get passionate about something you become good at. So it's more about 
taking something you're good at and growing it by acquisition. Go and buy your competitors, go and buy a business that have a better management team than yours. So you can just be the strategic guy and become what we call an owner investor versus an owner manager. That's what it comes down to, guys. If you want to grow by acquisitions or buy businesses, that's something I can help with. And I tell you, just stick to what I'm doing and you'll be successful. Just stick to it for a period of time telling yourself, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Or at least give yourself the next one, two, few years. But I think when you're giving yourself an, an exit option, it basically means that you're not committed, committed enough. And that's what I'm here to tell you. Tell yourself, hey, this is what I do for the rest of my life. For me personally, I know that I want to do it for the rest of my life just because it's fun. And there, there's limitless growth opportunities and, and fun opportunities in this space as well. So again, if this is something you want to explore or do, buy businesses, grow your businesses by acquisitions, go to moanpower.com forward slash talk. And me and my team, we can have a call with you and figure out if it's even for you. We can have a short call, um, basically get to know you, get into the deep, dive understanding of what you're doing and figure out if it's for you. And if it is, we'll tell you and show you how. If not, we'll send you to someone else. And maybe starting a business based on your passion and your goals is what you need to do. But many times it's not because most people that I know will get into starting a business from scratch, starting to do that because they want their lifestyle and they want the income. It's not about changing the world for them based on the new technology that they have. Yes, maybe they want to change the world, but many times changing the world for them isn't coming from having a better technology. Maybe they, do, they want to go to Haiti and, and help kids there. And that's how they can help the world, but they can do it if they have the lifestyle. Most people that I know, they don't want to change the world with new technology. They want to get into business so they have the time, the lifestyle to help the world then in other ways. And if you want to do that, I think buying businesses and growing by, by acquisitions is the best way to do, to go and do that. So again, go to, go to my page and check it out. Otherwise, yeah, guys, remember, it's about elimination of things versus adding more things. It's about eliminating everything that you can and producing on very small and short fundamentals and making sure you have the right support and accountability around you while you do those things. And obviously, if you have the mentorship and the option for your mentor to open doors for you, that's even better. So, um, that, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Remember, shiny object, object syndrome. That, that's not the way to go. It's, it's not going to take you anywhere. So, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like this video. See the links in the description below. Lots of cool free stuff there. Join our group if you didn't yet. Send me ideas for videos. Just, just see the links in the description below. And click the links and, and you'll get there. So, yeah, that's it, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.